Beauty by Mile. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look and it is using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. <sighs> this palette is amazing. I own the Amrezi, the Mayamiya and the um, Tamana palette. I love them all because the blendability and the pigmentation is so spot on. And I just absolutely love this palette. The packaging, it's an artist palette so I like how abstract and like painter-esque the packaging looks I really really love it and I love the colors and the vibrancy and then the inside is just so cool I just love the vibrant colors but I love that they also stuck in some like neutral some more wearable shades shades to tone down the other crazy shades the shade that popped out the most to me is definitely this yellow and it's uh, called fresh Oh my god, that's what I'm wearing on my lid. It is such a vibrant... Okay, my battery died. Sorry about that. Like I was saying, this bright yellow is so pigmented. And it's... Oh my god, it applies so nicely. I haven't swatched all of these shades. I just knew that I definitely wanted to incorporate the color fresh in, in my look. And I kind of wanted to make it like the pop of color palette. I feel like this is a perfect palette for... Um, People that are starting to get into colors, I feel like it's very affordable. It's thirty dollars for one, two, three, for twelve eyeshadows. I got mine at Ulta for thirty bucks. I was so happy. I had had a horrible, horrible day, and I just really wanted to buy the palette, so I went to Ulta. And when I got there, they were all sold out in the front. And I asked one of the girls, and she was like, "Oh, let me check in the back." So they went and they checked in the back. And I was there for uh, like a while, like I looked through all the drugstore section and the girl came back out and she was like, oh, I found one for you. So I was so excited. So of course I bought it right away. I'm loving it. I'm so happy that I did. I honestly considered passing this one up when they first came out. I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. I have the electric palette. I don't think the electric palette has a blue, ha, blue. A yellow like this so I was like yeah I'm gonna get it so anyway I hope that you guys enjoy this look if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve this and if you know you guys want to see how to recreate it then just keep watching hey guys so I'm breaking out it's not cute but anyway let's just get into it um, as per usual I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids and I am taking my NARS smudge proof eye base and we're gonna jump into this beautiful Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. Ugh, I love it. But first, I went in to set the primer with Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream. The first shade I'm gonna take is Dusty Rose. And I'm taking this on a Sigma E25 and I'm going to blend this in the crease and kind of blend it and blow it out a little bit and then I'm gonna go into the shade Aubergine with my Sonia Kashuk 116 brush and I'm gonna blend this into the crease and blend it down towards the lid um, because I want the lid shade to kind of just like seamlessly blend out towards the crease and I'm just gonna go back and forth and um, blend out that Aubergine with some more Dusty Rose As you guys saw, I totally freaked out at how pigmented that fresh shade was, but yeah, I'm just going in with a flat shader brush and I am packing on the shade. I love this shade because you can start out really lightly and really build it up to get that like pop, bold color on your lid or wherever you want it. Um, I'm just going into the shade Coal and I'm using this to deepen out the outer V and I'm just placing it on the outer V and then blending it out right there. Um, I don't want to bring it into the crease that much. And then I'm going to go back into Aubergine and blend that into the crease and kind of blend the lid shade into it and just smoke it out a little bit. bit more fresh because I did lose some vibrancy as I was blending and then I went back into Dusty Rose and just blended out the crease color even more just wanted to make it as seamless as possible 
And for my brow bone highlight, I just went into the shade Buttery, which is just a beautiful buttery highlight shade. And then I'm just cleaning up, sharpening out the, um, the look, just make it a little bit more cat-like. And then I went with my Inglot 77 gel liner and my MAC 266 brush and went in and created a wing liner. My Ardell 106 lashes I just went with my front of the line liquid liner and hid that lash band and then I went into the Clinique double lash mascara thing. I don't really like this mascara so I just use it when I'm using falsies and yeah I just use that to blend my lashes with my falsies believe it or not I'm using a illuminator as a primer my skin has been so dry lately I it's so weird for me but I yeah, I'm just I just wanted to bring some luminosity to my skin so I'm taking my Josie Moran illuminator and I love it I have been loving it and I've also fallen head over heels in love with this makeup forever HD foundation and then I'm just dropping a little bit of the cover FX custom cover drops and mixing that in with the foundation just to mattify it a little bit because I didn't use a mattifying primer. Obviously this foundation combination is way too light for me so I went into this L'Oreal True Match in 5.5 suntan. I don't know if they make this shade anymore but I just really needed to deepen out my foundation. I was looking really ghostly and for concealer I am taking this Urban Decay Naked Concealer and this is in light neutral. And I'm just taking this to highlight my face and conceal and brighten and all that good stuff. To set my under eye and my entire face, I went in with my Ben Eye Banana Luxury Powder. Um, I love this stuff. It just gives such a beautiful, flawless finish. Abuse. I'm a little crazy with Girlactic products because I have been in love with them. So I'm taking the Cabo Bronzer from Girlactic to contour my skin. And this powder is just, you guys just really need to try these products. They are amazing. They're so blendable. They feel so creamy. Oh, I love them so much. So I'm just taking this to contour and then I'm blending it out with a stipple brush. taking another Girlactic product this is their face glow but in bronze and as a highlight this is too dark for me but to bronze up my skin it is beautiful and taking Girlactic blush in the shade Milan which is such a beautiful blush I am just going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks but concentrating more towards the back and another face glow from Girlactic but this is in the shade natural and it's just a beautiful soft glow that is perfect for every day and can really be built up to give a more intense highlight. Now for my lip combo, I'm starting off with this MAC lip liner in Subculture and I'm lining and filling in my lips and then I'm going to go into Girlactic Demure Matte Lip Paint. Holy crap, this is a beautiful, beautiful liquid lipstick. I love it. The color is perfect. The formula is perfect. These are probably some of the best liquid lipsticks ever. Like, they're amazing. And out of nowhere, I decided that my eyeshadows needed to be blended a little bit more. 
So I just went back into the aubergine and into the dusty rose and just blended everything out even more. To finish off the lip combo, I just topped it off with Girlactic Lip Gloss and Baby Doll and I just love the color combination that these two lip products give. I'm seriously in love with Girlactic, like obsessed with them. I went back into the um, Artist Palette with the shade Aubergine and placed that on the outer half of my lower lash line. Then I went in with Dusty Rose and blended everything together. And then I'm going to go back into the shade Fresh. And I'm using Fresh kind of like I guess for an inner corner, not inner corner, inner third of the lash line pop of color. I'm placing it lightly. I don't really want it to be too vibrant, but I do want some yellow down there. back into the shade buttery and placing that as my inner corner highlight and then I'm going to take the shade blacker from Marc Jacobs from their eyeliners and I'm going to line my waterline I'm going to go in with the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara on my lower lashes and then to set everything I use my Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water and this is a completed look I hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time Thank you.